Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Saudi Night event. What and is this? What? what? What is this crowd? Who are these people? And who are you? Who are you, sir? What are you doing on top of the stage? Get off stage, please. Uh, security? No, no, no. Security? No, no. <laughs> security? No, 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 no. Please, I, I'm okay. What do you want? I, I, I'm just a lot lost here, and I don't know where to go. Uh, is this some kind of, of an event or something? Well, of course. This is Saudi night event. Uh, Saudi night? I, I think I've heard of Saudi night. Well, it's one of the most popular events, as you can see. Oh, really, really. So, uh, you know, are, are these a crowd ready for this kind of event? Well, of course they are. They're all sitting. I'm guessing they're ready, you know? But, but let me check. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Yeah. What is this? This is so rubbish. No, rubbish? I can do way better, my friend. No way. <laughs> I can do way better. Okay, guys. Are you guys ready? See, I tell you, I do better. No way, man. M mine was better. So, so what is this event going to start with? Oh, yeah. We're going to start with our first part. Our first part is going to be the most important part. Uh, excuse me, sir. Why are you doing off stage? What? Please get on stage. First you tell me get off stage, and now you tell me get on stage. I'm in confusion. What is this? Please get on stage and be quiet. Thank you. Okay, okay. Sorry. Like I was saying, our first part is going to be listening to some Quran. Thank you. So we should leave now? Or? Yes, please. Oh, okay, sorry. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman Allama al-Qur'an Khalaq al-Insan Allamahu al-Bayan Al-Shams wal-Qamar bi-Husban Wal-Najm wal-Shajar yasjudan Wal-Samaa rafa'aha wa wada'a al-Mizan Alla tatagaw fi al-Mizan Wa aqimu al-Wazna bil-Qisht Wa la tukhsiru al-Mizan Wal-Arda wada'aha lil-Anam Fiha fakihatun نخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان All right. Please tell, uh, please tell them what I told you just now. <laughs> Hello, guys. Again, sorry. I, I like to be in the stage. And uh, so, so is is it okay if everyone please uh, stand up? Uh, they told me to do that because there will be an Arabic anthem, Saudi anthem right now. So please, please stand uh, up. everyone stand up. Thank you very much. Sorry, <laughs> 
العليا من جديد خالق السماء وارفع الخفاق أكبر يحمل النور المصفر وجدي الله أكبر يا موطني موطني من عشت فخر المسلم عاش الملك للعلم والوطن All right, everyone can sit down, relax. Um, for our next part is going to be one of the most amazing part because our president of the Saudi club is going to give a speech. Please give it up for Mohammed Al Faiz. On the name of God, the most merciful, most compassionate, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Saudi members, I would like to thank you all for giving us your precious time to attend the Saudi night. The Saudi club's mission is to share, culture, share the culture and values and spread the common good, the Saudi common good. Also, change the huge misconception about the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In this event, we seek to represent our cultures and traditions in a way which we can see the real image of Saudi Arabia. Today, we are celebrating our fifth anniversary. Therefore, we want to make it special. This year's theme is about women in Saudi Arabia. The women in Saudi Arabia are more than the half of the community. In fact, they are behind any success we made. I will end with a hadith. A person came to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, who is the most deserving of my fine treatments. He said, be spin upon him, your mother, your mother, your mother, three times, then your father. I finally, I hope that tells you how much appreciation we have toward women. Thank you so much. <laughs> and now it's the moment to like have the President Sullivan on the stage. We have some surprise for her. This is actually like your name in Arabic in an artistic way. So that we can, we hopefully can see it in your office. So, <laughs> so if you have anything to say, please like have the pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much and you will see it in my office. Um, uh, I would just like to thank the Saudi club for hosting us all this evening. It really is an honor and privilege for all of us to get this authentic glimpse into your culture, into your society, because we will only be able to advance the common good if we understand and know each other well. So thank you very much for giving us the privilege to get to know you better, and I'm really delighted that you dedicated this event to women. <laughs> thank you so much, it's always a pleasure. Hello again, guys. I know you guys miss me. 
Uh, so for, for our next part, they told me. For our next part here, uh, there, uh, it is uh, the guest of honor, who, which is called uh, Karen Lang. Please welcome her, guys. <laughs> oh, so, sorry. My bad, sorry. Oh, what a great night. You know, I was remembering back to the first Saudi night, uh, which was in 2009. We had 27 Saudi students at St. Thomas at that time. I remember being over in Murray Herrick, and I also remember several years where we were in the OEC auditorium and we ate off paper plates in the, in the front of the auditorium. So to be here tonight and see this is just such a wonderful acknowledgement and recognition of the Saudi Club and all the work that they've done here. So I really appreciate our students. Thank you. <laughs> So now we have about 100 Saudi students. Uh, our, the most we had was in 2015, where we had 140. So we have um, pretty much an equal split between graduate and undergraduate students. So, and it's nice to see, I see several of our alums here tonight, and I see some of our friendship families, and just want to welcome everyone from the community. Um, that's one thing that we know that we have learned from our Saudi students, that we're all part of the same community. So, of our over 100 Saudi students, anyone want to guess what the top major is? Engineering. Engineering. Yes, engineering, uh, and then it's computer science, education, business, and leadership. So they cut well across many of our different majors. So let me just tell you a little bit why I appreciate our Saudi students so much. I've had the opportunity over the years to get to know many of our Saudi students, and when they first started coming to St. Thomas, it wasn't, hey, St. Thomas, what can you do for us? It was, we are here, what can we do for you? And that has been my experience, and I know many of our student and staff experience with our, with our Saudi students. So thank you for sharing your culture, not only tonight, but throughout the academic school year. So I'm going to share one, one quick story, and um, so we, then we can quickly get on to our uh, events for the evening. I remember several years ago, um, someone came to me and they said they were concerned because um, one of our Saudi students has got, gotten their car towed. You know, in the winter here, when there's lots of snow, we, um, if you don't move your car to the other side of the street, you get your cars towed. And I thought, oh my gosh, these Saudi students, they may not know this, and they're, some of them are new to the country. And so I talked with one of our staff members and she said, don't worry about it. Saudi students take care of Saudi students, they'll figure it out. And they did. They went down and got the car out and got that all figured out. We know you come from a collectivist uh, community, and we certainly see that here on our campus. So again, um, I'm looking forward to a great evening. Uh, as we talked a little bit about a little bit earlier, we know that our, our um, Saudi students, when we think about some of the um, negative stereotypes that we are, we know that our Saudi students are wonderful and gracious and such an important part of the St. Thomas community, so thanks for breaking down that negative stereotype every single day here on campus. <laughs> Love it. So again, I just want to say welcome to all of the community members that are, are um, in the, the St. Paul and, and Minneapolis uh, area, and we know that we have some students from some other colleges that have joined us tonight, so we appreciate that. Look forward to a great evening. Uh, again, thank you to the Saudi Club. For our upcoming event, I would like to welcome Richard Thomas, our former advisor. Uh, uh, and don't forget uh, uh, Beth Branks. Oh, yeah, and him. Okay. Um, he is our current advisor right now. Please come to the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Anyway, it's been a great pleasure being the uh, advisor to the Saudi Club. And I want to thank you all, especially the members of the Saudi Club, for uh, being so welcoming to me. Uh, this is one organization that it's always been my, always been, uh, I've always been very, very proud to be associated with. Uh, and, and so thank, and I, 
and thank you very much for being so welcoming to me all this time. Anyway, I, I, all I want to, isn't this great? Isn't this event stunning? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Last year was awesome. This year's even better. I, mean, I, wa I walked in here and I, I you know, almost brought tears to my eyes. I just think this is beautiful. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the rest of the evening, too, and uh, I can't wait to see the play. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, this show has been like these students and their professor was practicing for almost a month. And they want to show you a little bit of the Saudi culture and the transmission from the U.S. to the Saudi society that the professor is going to face. So please enjoy the show and be quiet so everybody can listen and uh, hear everything. Professor, Thank you. Off the things. This is the table for the students. This is the table for the students. Yeah. You guys, take the table. to class, everybody. As I was saying, the ancient Chinese cultural uh, mythology is that the husband will carry the wife through a pan of burning coals the first time they enter their home. Ugh, that sounds so painful. Why would he do that? Well, it is supposed to make sure that the wife, mother, will have an easy, successful labor during childbirth. And if a man walks through a bed of coals, he might understand the pain of childbirth. I'm starting to like this tradition. Now they can finally feel some of the pain we feel. <laughs> Giving birth is not that painful. Women have been doing it for generations. Childbirth isn't that bad. You try pushing an apple out of your nose and then talk to me. Yeah, come on, Mark. Appreciate a woman's contribution. I think it's a great tradition because it reflects the Chinese consideration of their women. So, John, if you were in China, then you would do this, it seems. Whoa, don't try and trap me. I can't imagine doing that. I just tell them I'm not having kids. All right, well, just remember that the world is a very interesting place. And while we may look at things people do and think that's crazy, when we take a closer look, we start to understand the principles behind it. Yes? Agree? Yes. And so we learn, we learn through that that the philosophy behind these traditions is beautiful and the human intellect is limitless. Oh, they have class cells now. That's awesome. So that means that school is almost over. Don't forget, next time you're reading on infant tossing in India, and then the uh, Dani tribe um, ritualization of finger amputation. Infant tossing? Finger amputation? Yep. What are we learning here? Thank goodness this class doesn't have labs. She took attendance while you were sleeping, bro. Really, bro? Oh, better go talk to her. hours, I don't see anybody. <laughs> That's why nobody came. It wasn't an office yet. 
Hey, Dr. Oh, Sarah. Hello. How are you doing? I'm yeah. good, Jack. Hey, you, you didn't happen to take attendance. Hey, Dr. Too. Sarah, I wanted to thank you today for the lesson. It was super interesting. Yeah, I really so enjoyed good. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> it's always nice when my students show up to class. <laughs> <laughs> This is my office. <laughs> Dr. Sarah, oh. could you please stop having your mail come to my office? Ah, oh, switching offices was really a bad idea. Plus, why don't you use email? OK, I like getting letters like this. I, I feel like I'm back with my friends. I can see their handwriting, and I can, I can Smell the paper. This one here is from my good friend from Argentina. This one here is from my friend Jean from China. Oh, and this one is from Saudi Arabia. Huh, that's weird. It looks like they want me to teach at Nora University. Well, what do you all think about Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia? I don't know. I heard it's hot in there. I heard that the women are oppressed and they have to wear a black veil. Yeah, I heard men walk with swords. I don't know. I don't think they let women drive there. I've heard there's only desert there. Yeah, and oil wells. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Sarah, I really do not think you should be going to Saudi Arabia. That does not sound like a great place to go. I don't really know how I feel about this offer, but this is just some stuff I've heard from other people. Yeah, my sources are from the internet, so who knows how accurate they are. Huh. I don't know. I, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to think about it. I really don't think it's a good idea. Uh, I just good. Khaled, uh, bring the phone to your mother. Where is my phone? Khaled, come on. Hold on. Where is my phone? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Guys, this is Sana. Oh, how are you doing, darling? Are you eating well? Are you guys still partying? Uh, uh, how is uh, Trump uh, doing? Did you see the Batman? No, Khaled. Are you eating well? Did Superman kill him? Uh, has the price in uh, uh, gasoline, you know, in the U.S. increased too, or? No, guys. I'm fine. What's wrong, honey? You look kind of sad. I'm fine, mom. Tell me, what's wrong? It's my professor, Sarah, the one I always talk to you about. Yes, I know her. How is she? Is there something wrong? Uh, uh, is she dead or something? <laughs> did, she join, did she join the Avengers? No, she's fine. She just wanted to, to visit Saudi Arabia, but she heard some stereotypes that might cause her to think about it and cancel her exchange experience. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate, dear. You should talk to her and tell her we are welcoming her, and we are happy to host her in our home. Really, Mom, can I invite her? Sure, she can uh, live here as long as she wants. I, I mean, I mean, uh, just for a while, honey, yes? <laughs> we could throw a party for her. What's wrong with you and partying? Partying, partying, partying. Never mind, honey. Go and talk to her and Thanks, invite Mom. her. Thanks, Mom. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, bye. take care, take honey. Bye-bye.
don't take that the wrong way. Jack, what are you doing here? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Jack, where are we right now? What? I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, Katie, John, what are you, what are you wearing? Where are we? I don't know. It looks like a desert. Okay. It's so hot. I feel like I'm burning. It's so hot. I feel like I'm sweating behind my knees. And what am I wearing? Okay. All right. Okay. We all need to stick together because I don't know what's going on, Jack. You're just pretty regularly, so I need you to tell me, uh, is there a school around here or maybe a police station? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Ah, what? what are you doing on Sheikh Hadi's property? Whoa, Mark. Stay back and stay silent. Hey, bro. Mark. Mark, it's oh, us. Stay Mark. back. Okay. It's, it's hey, Sarah. Mark. I'm your professor, Dr. Sarah. Remember me? I do not remember you. Stay back and okay. stay silent. I don't think he remembers me. Let me try. Mark, it's Katie from your class, Cultural Studies. I sit in front of you. I remember you. You were the one that told me to shove a nose of apple up my nose. Stay back and stay silent. Whoa, dude, Jack, isn't that the camel headed guy? Wait, let me see. It's just that. Ah! Oh, Jack, I don't know, Jack, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Dr. Tom. It's so good to see you. I do not know what is going on. Who is Dr. Tom? What? I am Chief Patty, greatest scientist of South Arabia. If you are a true, this is my property. I'm what? Okay. You are not my prisoners. Yalla! What? <laughs> are you still mad about the office? I'm sorry. Did you get a sword? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. All right, that was just a dream. It's just a bunch of really crazy stereotypes. I feel really bad right now. I'm really stupid. It's not like you, Sarah. You're going to go to Saudi Arabia and see what it's like for yourself. A sword. In office hours, people bring you your furniture. How do I turn it on? How do I slow it on? So how do, when do I speak? I hope somebody comes and visits me during my office hours. Oh. There you are. I forgot where my door was. Hello. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> I have to remember my door's over there. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. Um, I heard about the offer you got of working in Saudi Arabia. Yes. And I know you're having some concerns. Uh, I just want to know, I just want you to know that you don't need to worry. Believe me, my country is a beautiful place and you're going to enjoy me in oh. there. Thank you so much for that, Sana. I have to admit that I, uh, I've had some pretty weird dreams lately. <laughs> and I think I had some misconceptions, but they're just, they're just stereotypes. So, you know, I, I'm very excited to visit your country, even though I've, I'm not really studying Saudi Arabia at the moment, and I don't really have any relations there. You know, I live near Chinora University, and my oh. family and I are so excited to host here. And to, and to have a closer look to our community. And actually, my, in, my exchange program is ending this semester, so I will be with you right there. 
Well, then that's it. I'm going. That You just changed my mind for me. This is perfect. Thank you so much, You're Sonia. welcome. Perfect. I'm so excited. <laughs> the door's here. I remember. Attention please, this is the final call for Korean Air Flight 9111 to Guam. Departing passengers should proceed to gate number 23 immediately. Sana, it looks like we're going to, we're going to be landing in Riyadh soon. <laughs> Where are we? Okay. Thank you very much for choosing Saudi Airlines. We're reaching soon. He wants you to stop snoring. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping for 15 hours, man. Okay, I see. Yeah. My gosh, this city is so beautiful. It's so big. What's that building there? Oh, these are the Faisalia and the Kingdom Towers, the most, um, the most famous buildings um, and business in Riyadh. That's amazing. And, and what's that building? Uh, this is King Abdullah Financial District, the grand place to, for a trade and investment in Saudi Arabia. So is that like Manhattan's financial district? Yes, it's the only financial district in the Middle East. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached to our final destinations. Please do not forget your belongings and we thank you very much for choosing Saudi Airlines. And we hope we see you soon with Saudi Air. Mom, please line up. Please line up. First. Egyptian. The mother of the world. Welcome. Thank you. Indian. You guys everywhere. You know, guys, you are so funny. <laughs> so what's the purpose of visiting? I'm a comedian here. See, I know it. I know it. So do you have a job for me? I'm a doctor here. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Welcome home. Hi. 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 
Wow, the United States of America. Yeah. <laughs> you look famous, do you sing? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I teach. Wow, that's even more amazing. Oh, thank you. What do you teach? Uh, well, I teach culture and globalism. Globalization, welcome. Globalization, yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> do you, um, just a quick question, do you, do you wear a camel's head sometimes? <laughs> No, should I? Uh, no, just, nope, JK. Just, I'm just, just seeing. Okay. Yep, everything's fine. I just, he's really nice. I just, I recognized him from somewhere. Oh. I'm okay. Perfect. Wait to see my family. Oh, I can't wait to meet your family. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Sarah, welcome to Saudi Arabia. How, how are you doing? Oh, oh. So. <laughs> Hello. It's welcome, so, Dr. Sarah. Thank you so much. It's I, so nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm Hana, Sana's mother, and this is my husband, Mohammed, and my <laughs> Hello. son, Hello. Uh, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> coffee we offer to our guests oh but there's not a lot in there do I is it like a shot no we offer it a small finzan so we could serve uh, our guests more because serving them makes us happy oh that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful so now when you want more coffee you do like this okay I want and more. when you don't want more you just cover you it by just your cover hand it like up. this yes so like this if I want some and then I cover it up yes so this, if I want some, and then I cover it up? Excellent. Yeah. So like, I want some more coffee, even though I don't want any more coffee? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. So, uh, Dr. Sarah, yeah. what, what is your first impression, you know, after you came to Saudi Arabia? Oh, I thought the city looked so beautiful, and I loved the palms, and, but I have to say, the driving is a little, um, it's just like everybody's just doing their own thing, you know, just not really looking at signs. Or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that is very true. Yeah. Uh, I, I know, but, but you will get used to it and, and you know, maybe like it. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to prepare lunch. Thanks, Mom. I just realized when I when 
I first came into your home, I saw you. You kissed your mother's hand, and you kissed her on the head. You must love her very much. Of course. Uh, well, you know, uh, actually, uh, in, in Islam, the Prophet Muhammad preferred the, the love for the mother three times. Oh. Three times than the love for the father. But in, in my opinion, I, I think, uh, you know, children should love their father too. Oh. <laughs> but, Dr. Sarah, I assure you, I very assure you that my children love me as much as they love their mother. <laughs> right, Khaled? Oh, uh, I love my Is that mother. right, Khaled? I know you like me as much as I like to take you in the theme park later. Oh, yes. I see? love you so much. <laughs> see, I tell you. See? I can see that. That's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lunch is served. Amazing. Why is it in such a big dish? This is Kapsa, our famous uh, our, our famous and common dish in Saudi Arabia. Oh, and so Eat? you just put it in one large dish like that for everyone? Yes. Eating from one plate is a popular custom in Saudi Arabia. Oh. It implies that we share our own food with each other and trust each other by eating from the same plate. Oh. Also, um, you, we put it in one big plate because we don't have to wash a lot of plates and we save water and save the environment. Uh, uh, that's oh. enough, friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. It's okay. <laughs> He's very smart. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, can you help me, Khalid? Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. Sure, get off. Uh, sorry, sorry. Old grandpa. to cultural studies. Ladies and ladies, where are all the men? We have a gender segregated education. This oh. is a ladies university. Oh, that's amazing. Well, there's so many questions that I, I've been wanting to ask. And well, maybe I should take this first class to get some of them answered. So um, my first question is, do people wear camel heads here? No. no. Okay. Just I was just checking. Just checking. Um, then what I would like to really ask about is about uh, being a woman here. You know, uh, what is your voice like in your country? Are you uh, supposed to take care of your parents and your husband? Um, what about the driving ban and how have you been dealing with that? We don't need to drive here in the university. We have our own trunk. Oh. Just for us. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, women are able to have the driving lesson, but the driving permission has not been given. It's going to be given this year, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, that's excellent. I can't wait to get my own car. Yes, your own car. That would be exciting. <laughs> I don't know if I feel so excited. I mean, Professor, you've seen how crazy some people drive here. Yes, I have seen how people drive here. You're right. <laughs> it would be an adventure. <laughs> Sure. From the point of a woman's voice, elderly females are allowed to impo impose their voice in uh, the, the Saudi, uh, are allowed to impose their voice in the Saudi consultation board, oh. which is the highest board in the country. Oh, one more thing. Yes. A woman's obedience is not caused by male control. Actually, uh, many women do that as a sign of religious devotion and a man's responsibility is to provide her with all that she needs. Well, thank you so much for all of this. I cannot wait to spend a semester with such strong, amazing, intelligent women. 
That's it for today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and next time, bring the name of a Saudi woman who you really look up to. Sure. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Sarah, how was your first class going? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I, I learned so much. I cannot wait for this semester. Perfect. Uh, my family are inviting you uh, to come with us to the village for this weekend to see uh, how, where my father has raised and to see um, how the traditional people are living. Well, I would love to go. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go then. <laughs> This is beautiful. <laughs> but Dad, you promised me to take me to the same park and ride the roller coaster. Uh, uh, Come down, son. You know, life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you have meaningless parts. Sometimes you have, you know, thrilling parts. But I assure you, my friends, uh, my, my son, sorry. Uh, uh, next week, we, next week we will go to the you know roller coaster, and it will be so thrilling. Yay! People of the village, oh my God, what is this? Here you will find the best jewelry and the best scarves, and I only sell the best and most famous brands out there: Chanel, Fendi, Gucci, and Sushi. Sushi is not a brand. It's a food! What do you oh, know about enough. globalization, kids? Sushi is one of the most famous brands out there that makes one of the best scarves. And I am the only distributor in Saudi Arabia. Now go away! Yalla! <laughs> you go away! Oh, Dr. Sarah. Yeah? This is henna. We oh, use hi. it to decorate our hand. And usually, these days, uh, brides uh, use it for their wedding. Oh. And it smells really <laughs> beautiful. So I'll look like a bride. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that guy? Is that like a Saudi Arabian Gandhi? <laughs> no, Dr. Sarah. This is Brother Hassan. He's preparing his journey for the Hajj. Oh. <laughs> Dear people of the village, Jazakumullahu khairan. Thank you so much for funding me and my family to go to Hajj. It is a, finan it is a, a, a blessing for a Muslim family to embark on such a journey. And it is only for those who are able to financially. And if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have been financially able. Jazakum Allahu khair for allowing me and my family to experience going to Mecca, seeing the Kaaba, and seeing millions of Muslims from different countries. It is a blessing that I've only read in textbooks. So I thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me, and I will pray for every single one of you. Thanks, brother. We hope you complete Hajj and be called Hajji. So what is Hajj? Is this a religious rank? Hajji is a title given Hajj? to people who perform Hajj. Oh. Hajj is the fifth pilgrim of Islam. It's when, it's, uh, when people go to Mecca and spend few days for meditation and worship. Thank you, Muhammad. I hope that it just goes well. I hope too. Brother Hassan, 
Oh, this is my uncle Abdullah. He's the leader of the village and he takes care of the community here. Don't worry, brother. The government has provided many services for our pilgrims. The Hajj right now is way easier than the old times. Alhamdulillah. The only thing left for me to worry about is my family. Don't worry, brother. I'll take care of your family as they're my own. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, noted the rights for the neighbor. <laughs> Abdullah, my brother. Hello. Long time no see. Hello, brother. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, what is this? You, your belly got bigger or something? You, you, st you should stop eating too much. Brother, you should stop smoking too much. Your lips are getting darker. Smoke? I don't even smoke. I even though people tell me that a lot, I don't know why. Never mind. I really miss my mom. Did you bring her with you? Uh, I, I, think she's, uh, I think she's in the city. I think she's in the city, yes. That's sad. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, have you seen uh, Dr. Sarah? She came from America. Oh, hello, Dr. Sarah. Hello. It's really a great pleasure to have you right here with us in the village. Well, thank you. It's beautiful. Good American. <laughs> we, should yeah. treat, we should treat our guest with best hospitality. Ryan, let me go get the camel milk. C camel milk? You are a very smart person. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Why are you doing here? Mommy, come, mommy. Come here, kid. You must pay for that. Uh, uh, sir? Calm down, guys. How much is this? Ma'am, this scarf is so precious. And designer Sushi himself signed on this scarf. And I will not accept for less than 100 reals. 10. 10? I, I just said 100 reals. I said 10. Uh, 90? 10. 80? Again, I say 10. All right, here's my last offer, 70. No, 10. All right, take two for 50. You're not flexible with customers. No, 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 no. So now, well, why does everyone disqualify my merchandise? Let's go find another shop. Because he named them after food. Shut up, <laughs> kids. <laughs> Brother. Here you go. Give oh, it to this is yes, indeed, delicious. Perfect. Come, Dr. Oh. Sarah. Take this, try this. It's very delicious, very delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> delicious, yes. What is this? Uh, this is like a common milk. Uh, uh, what, what, what is happening? Oh, my what God. What happened to her? What is this? What did oh you make up? I, I didn't do anything. It's all because what of happened? that kid. I'm pretty sure. Ambulance. Oh, are you okay? okay. I'm okay. Oh, no. something that you were allergic to. Yeah, I think I did. What? Why is my arm glittery? I believe that's henna. Right. Okay. Now, I think what you had, did you have some camel milk? Yeah. Yes, yes. I think what you've had, you, you are very allergic to oh. camel milk. This is a very <laughs> rare disease. Who knew? <laughs> This is a very rare disease. Now, the name of this disease okay. is... Dr. Sarah! Oh, hi! This recipe is the best recipe. Oh, okay. It will cure the allergy. Oh, thank you. Just remember, you take it before you eat. Before I eat. After you eat. After I eat. Two times, uh, two times at night. Two times at night. Two times at day. Two times during the day. Before you... Uh, before you, before you sleep and after you wake up. Before I sleep and after I wake up. Believe me, this is the best recipe right. and the best cure. So just take this all the time. All right. Everything great. will go away. Trust me. Thank you so yes, much. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. It's good yes. to see you. The, the patient needs some rest. Come on. And sir, stop smoking, please. No, smoke. Oh. Come on, people. I don't smoke. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. It's okay. So, as I was saying, yes, yes. the disease you have is extremely rare, really oh. extremely rare. Okay. Um, the name of the disease is caramel. Yeah. Uh, um. Yes, it's extremely oh, rare. Oh, hi! 
You didn't have to bring me flowers. This is Sarah. This is a special recipe my mom makes when we're sick. It works like a charm. Oh, just thank keep you. taking it. So just you can. keep taking just this keep too. Taking it. Okay. It's the best cure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, best thank cure. you. Best right, cure. All right, ladies, thank you Thanks very much. Thanks for the thank flowers. You. The patient needs some rest. Thank I'll be you. Back thank you very soon. much. Thank you. Okay, so. Okay, so. As I was saying, this is an extremely rare disease. Yes. You have it by drinking camel milk. Right. Only in the morning. I didn't know. No, it's very rare. Now the right. name of this disease oh, is Doctor Sarah. How are you doing? I'm I'm good. I I'm good. <laughs> My wife has prepared this recipe for you. Oh, this okay. Yeah, I have uh, twelve sons. If any of these dinosaurs ever feel sick, this recipe will make them feel better. Twelve sons, and you give this to them. Yeah. Okay. Don't so forget, it's the best cure ever. Best cure. I repeat, right, right, it's the right, best thank cure. You, thank you very much. Yes, you and your 12 best dinosaurs. Cure. Okay, thank you. Take this all Stop day. yelling. I don't even like hospitals anyway. You will need them one day. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, keep right, wishing. Get out, get out, get out. All right, so. Okay. As I was saying. <laughs> yes. This disease is extremely rare. It's called caramel camel disease. Okay. Is it dangerous? No. Why are you yelling at me? I don't remember. Wait. Oh. oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. You need to let me finish. Okay. All right. So this is the prescription for your disease. Yes. Please do this. Do this. Don't do too many of these things. Okay. Do this, not too many of this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> is Sana here? Oh my God, Dr. Sarah, oh, Sana. are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm so I mean, sorry. I'm in the what hospital and apparently I can't have camel's milk. Who knew? Um, but I have all of this and I have henna and I have flowers and I have prescription. I'm going to be fine. Um, I want to tell you oh. something. Yeah. I was the one who registered your name um, for the job to work in Saudi Arabia because I saw your passion about, work, oh. about knowing cultures and I really admired it. So I just wanted you to come to my country and see it differently. Oh, thank you so much, Sana. It's so sweet. Everybody just showed up with their own medicine. I oh. love this place. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. bits and pieces here. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, no, you're leaving. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking that maybe I haven't seen everything. 
Maybe I should should stay longer. Of course. Of course. You are more than welcome to stay with us. And we are happy to welcome you. All right. Oh. Then let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, Dr. Sarah. Oh, um, okay. Uh, oh, sorry. All right. Use the, the, the way the, the media show Saudi Arabia as a the you could use the, the, the way the, the media show Saudi Arabia as a, a bit of a veil in itself because it's hiding the Given reality. the way that the political situation has passed, sort of panned out in this, in the Middle East over the last year, I feel safer here than I might feel. There's one big Europe. misperception that I've discovered is that people think that because Saudi women are covered up completely when they're outside, that that somehow makes them sort of browbeaten and timid and, you know, weak and vacillating and not sure of themselves and I have realized from teaching for the last year and the people that I've met that that's completely not the case um, and, and that if anything I think Saudi women are the most, some of the strongest women I've ever come across in my life, you know, they know what they want, they know how to get it, they're going to organize the men but so you know, that they will Nobody's ever it. looked after me. For the last 40 years, I've got children who are nearly 30 now, and I've brought them up by myself and have completely supported them. Their father did not. So um, I don't know what it means to be looked after. I think that the assumption is that if women have to be covered up all the time, that somehow that's because men don't like women. I mean, it was quite frightening, actually, thinking that you were in a country where you probably were disliked because you were a woman. Um, but, but what I realized then that was that there's still a very strong sense of chivalry in Saudi. Chivalry is, is, is the, the, the urge that allows men to look after women, that to, to, to make sure that they're all right. And this has really been a lot of it has been got rid of in the West, yeah. So I realized after a while that actually Saudi men were very chivalrous and as well as charming. So, but, but the one thing that really sort of brought this home to me was that I got into a taxi one night down, right down at the Corniche, having been shopping and gave what I thought were instructions to my compound. But the man who drove me was, Saudi, but he didn't speak English, so he didn't really understand me. And the only thing that he understood in my instruction was Holiday Inn. Now, at that point, I didn't know that there were two Holiday Inns in Koba, and he took me to the wrong one. We had no way of explaining that he was at the wrong one and where the right one was, because I didn't know where I was, because when somebody drives you everywhere, you never find out where you are, so you never have any sense of direction. And, you know, this is, I'm not used to this. And in the end, we had to stop the car. I was in tears by this time because I couldn't, you know, I was, I just couldn't make myself understood and he didn't understand. And he called a guy who was walking in the street. He'd just come out of the compound, the Saudi guy. And he said, listen, this woman is, is, is trying to find the holiday in in Koba and in the other holiday in but I don't know of another holiday in I don't know why but he just didn't and that guy actually oh, said get out of the car I'll sort you out it'll all be all right and he, he he said to the taxi driver off you go you go and I will make sure that she's okay he hauled another taxi up he made sure that the taxi knew exactly where I was going he put me in the taxi and made sure that I was okay um, which, and then I suddenly realized that the whole point 
about the whole thing of women being protected and looked after is that when things like that happen, somebody steps in, whether it's your father or not, isn't, you know, neither here nor there. The men here will make sure that, or at least with me anyway, um, make sure that you're um, all so, right. You know, this perception of the veil actually being disempowering, I found that very interesting. I've talked to girls who I know find the veil very useful in Miles, for example, when they're eyeing up the talent. The veil is very useful when you can do an awful lot of eyeing up the talent. Do you understand what I mean by that? No. Guy watching. <laughs> so the girls are going around, they're covered in black, <laughs> and they're eyeing all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, you know, you think you're walking around, wandering around and nobody's noticing you, but let me tell you, it's not like that. <laughs>
Oh, look, the, the camel-headed guy. The camel I almost forgot the camel-headed guy. Faris, thank you so much for coming. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. I am, I am so proud of you guys, even though we had like little time, but we, had, we did something really great. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate uh, and uh, can we have the president? Uh, Ahmed, is the di director, our director? The hidden soldier, Ahmed, who has been directing the play since the beginning. And I really, I really want to have this big applause for Joe, who has been directing us and uh, performing with us since the beginning of this week. So thank you so much, Joe. Okay, uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I think this is the end of it. Uh, I, uh, Professor, uh, D Dr. Sullivan, would you say something before we take a picture with you? Sure. Yeah. Well, thank you all, and, and in particular, thank all of our actors and actresses, and thank all of you who had the inspiration to write the play and to really uh, give us some great insights into the Saudi culture and the, and the Saudi country, and it was very well done. Thank you very much. Now, where is our president? Our president, Sheikh Mohammed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ali. <laughs>